Sean back. Shoptask YYC, so good to be back. Um, having so much fun making these YouTube videos. So thanks to everyone that's been supporting the page. I really enjoy all the comments and um, you guys are really thoughtful. I'm learning a lot just from interacting. So thanks again. Now, um, I'm getting lots of questions about fitting skates. And when you come into the shop, I can see your foot. I can measure your foot. You know, I can narrow it down from there. And then we can try on skates. And then from personal preference, you can decide what is your best fit, right? But if you don't have access to a skate shop, it can be tricky to get a proper fit when you're ordering things over the internet. So I want to be able to better help people with those sorts of issues. So I'm asking everyone out there that sees this video, if you could share this info with me, I'd really appreciate it. So what I'm asking is if you could measure your foot, step on a piece of paper, trace your foot out, measure the length and the width in centimeters, preferably, whatever measurements are fine, preferably centimeters. And then also include in the length and the width um, some info about the skates that you're wearing. So something like this would be really good. You know, my foot, for instance, for myself, 26 centimeters long, 10 centimeters wide, Seba Trix 90 in size, 40 fits me perfect. Something like that. You know, maybe for you it's, um, I have a size 28 foot or 28 uh, centimeters long, 12 centimeters wide. I wear a rollerblade twister size 10 and it fits great or it fits too small. Something like this. If you could include that info, I'd really, really appreciate it. And what I'm going to do, actually, I'm excited for this. I get to kind of give something back. If you share that information, just post a comment with that below. And then what I'm going to do is I'll give it two weeks. After two weeks, uh, everyone that did that for me, uh, I'll put your name into a draw. And then the winner of that draw is going to win two pairs of socks. So I've got one pair here. These are really cool. Um, maybe hard for you to see. Let me unpack them. Yeah, so this is like a graphic sock uh, made by a company called ABEC 100 based out of Toronto. So it's like a graphic sock. It's a picture of some rollerblades that were found in kind of an abandoned building. Uh, so it's a kind of a neat picture printed onto a sock. So you're going to get a pair of those. Very cool, very unique item. And ABEC 100, I love that name. People are always obsessed with the ABEC rating on their bearings. It's not so important to be honest, but ABEC 100, I like it. Anyways, so socks number one, ABEC 100s, you're also gonna get a pair of these Lorpin Cool Max liners. Absolutely the best sock that I've ever used inside my skates. So I'll be happy to send those to you wherever you live in the world. So please share that info. Uh, I'll be able to use that info to help other people better fit their skates. Um, and then hopefully you win a pair of socks or two pairs of socks in this case. Awesome, okay, so let's get into today's video. So I'm very excited now. Today's video is um, a trip I made around my neighborhood, kind of ripping around on the streets as well as a trip I made to the skate park. Now here in Calgary, we have this big giant skate park called Shaw Millennium Park. It's a huge outdoor concrete skate park. We use this for our skate cross events and it's really unique. There's not any other skate parks like this really in the world. And you get to see some of the unique features here in my video. So here I am dropping in in the expert section, going really fast across to hit this wall ride over top of the quarter pipe. So this quarter pipe cut out between these two wedge ramps, a little bit of vert behind it. And I managed to about the wall ride behind there, hop into the bump to carry my speed and then skip across the face of that quarter pipe, across the face of that ramp, duck through the rail, fakey back through on the other side. And here I am bust in a little gazelle. If you watched my last video, I mentioned that I wanted to do more gazelles as opposed to Mohawk transition. So I remembered there and busted one out. It looked pretty cool. And finishing the line here with a little jump over this rail. A quick 180, boom. Here's the full pipe, very unique feature. You're not gonna see this anywhere else. This full pipe is 28 feet in diameter. So the height I'm getting here is probably in the like 16 foot range, measuring vertically. I skip out, the ramps look kind of small from this camera angle, but believe me, they're huge. Big, big ramps. 
And right outside my door, I'm lucky enough, I have this little hill. Brand new pavement, beautiful smooth asphalt, and a nice grade all the way down as I skate from my house to the Marta Loop area of Calgary. Little um, rolling speed bumps along the way, so you have a little jump here and there. But mostly I'm just enjoying a good cruise. Nice amount of speed on this smooth pavement. Now there's a few uh, stop signs as I bomb down the hill. So here I am surveying. You see me looking, got my head up, looking for traffic. And I had a good sight line, so I knew that um, I was safe to make it through that stop sign. At the bottom of the hill here, I want to cross over this pedestrian bridge. And the fun thing I find about pedestrian bridges is um, the, the, the ramps off the bridges are these big, long curves. And the curves are perfect. So once you find the positioning of your turn, you just lock in that position and then you're just riding it from there. So you're not making any adjustments, nothing like this. So you find the position of your turn. I find it right here. And now I just hold that position and I get to ride and get that nice fun feeling of acceleration as I'm changing directions as well as changing speed. It's a really good rush. Kind of adds to the joy of skating. And then here I just got to make my way now across this bridge and now I'm entering into the Marta Loop area. It's a fun little shopping district here in Calgary. And uh, there's some always fun things to skate, right? Anywhere you are in the city, open your eyes, you'll find some good stuff. So I get to make this fun little entrance, another downhill along this sidewalk. Lots of room, I have the sidewalk to myself. Put my knees down on my, or sorry, my elbows down on my knees. Crouch so I can lessen the air friction and accelerate a bit more. And then here I'm looking for my exit find a little gap into this cul-de-sac and another nice smooth asphalt road one thing I found in this neighborhood too are these little bumps like that one along the uh, manholes so found a little line through this uh, apartment building here so skip up the stairs sharp turns through actually got caught up on the rocks there hop into that turn and then here, hop to backwards, set myself up for the stair ride. And now I'm uh, looking to get across the street here, watching for traffic. Make my way through. I found another little fun line here. So I'm going to like hop, skip, hop through that section. I slow this down because of the mad shake of the camera. Quick little skip over top of the power box, set of stairs in front of me here. I roll the windowsill, take the drop, and then here a little jump, a little shake of the camera, skip off the rock, clear it the rest of the way through. Lots of room to cross the street, and I find one little fun spot behind uh, the buildings here. And so it looked like probably some skateboarders had really waxed up this ledge here. So I thought I'd take advantage of that. So I fast plant, wall ride up the stairs, get some speed back down here. And then this waxy ledge, slide my wheels a little bit, hop down the stairs, hop into the wheelchair access ramp, find another little bump here. And then make my way through. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching you guys. So thanks again to all the subscribers, everyone that's been commenting, all the nice things have uh, made this a really good experience for me. So thanks so much. Please, like I said, if you can share that information by measuring your foot, the length, the width, um, what skates you're using, how the fit is in those skates, I'd really appreciate that. And good luck. Hey, maybe you'll win a pair of, or two pairs <laughs> of cool socks. Can't hurt, my friends. So thanks again. Rock on. Peace out. Namaste. It's beautiful outside. Let's go skating.